my channel. So today I have got a very, very exciting video for you. I've always wanted to do one of these videos and it's Valentine's Day soon and I thought now is the best time to do it. So I did a huge order on the Lush website and I've bought all of the Valentine's Day range just so I can show you. So I've got my big Lush box. I'm just going to open it. By the way, it smells incredible. So because I ordered this Oh my god it smells amazing so because i ordered this online i haven't actually gone into the store and smelt what any of these smell like so it is literally like a first impression video as well i'm also going to make this a demo video so you can see what they all look like right so i'm just going to start with what's on top and what i can see the first one i've got is this one and this is called the over and over bath bomb so it smells very it smells very citrusy and very fresh definitely smells of like lemon I'm guessing this is like an orangey scent it smells really nice and just refreshing definitely good for like a morning bath that so will wake you up in the morning it's really odd this is like your sort of normal bath bomb sort of fizziness and this is like almost like a wax This is the next bath bomb I've got. This is called the Rose Bombshell. So yeah, it's got pretty little roses on it and it's sort of pink and it's got little green bits on it as well. I'm not entirely sure what it smells of. I'm guessing it's like a rosy sort of, very sort of florally scent. But it also smells just a little bit citrusy as well. It smells really nice though. Mmm, smells really pretty. This is great for Valentine's Day, definitely, if you have little petals left in your bath. This one is sort of melting in my hand right now. This is called Two Hearts Beating as One. So this is a, a bath, a luxury bath oil. You can either put them in both together or they do interlock so you can pull them apart. Put them in your bath and it will just make your skin feel so incredibly soft. It smells very rosy this one. Very rosy. It's like it's turning my fingers pink a little bit. I believe this one they also do a shower gel which is also two hearts beating as one. Ylang Ylang and rose oil. The bath will turn coral and a beautiful magenta. I think I've used a bath oil once before and it really does make your skin feel so soft. My hands are kind of pink right now. <laughs> so yeah do be careful that one it does seem quite staining because my hands are now pink. Yeah I'm excited to see what that is like and it's cute for Valentine's Day as well if you are a couple and maybe you share a bath together that would be really cute and your skin will feel lovely and soft afterwards. Okay, so this next bath bomb, I was really surprised when I looked on the Lush website. They have a Valentine's Day section and this one wasn't included on it. I haven't tried this one before but I knew it existed. This is called the Sex Bomb Bath Bomb. So I thought that's definitely got to be like in a Valentine's Day haul. It's very pretty, it's pink at the bottom, purple on top and it's got a beautiful rose just in the centre. So obviously this smells very rosy it also smells a little bit like parma violets as well or oh, they used to do granny takes a dip yeah it sort of smells a bit like that as well so it's got jasmine in it it's really good if you're feeling stressed or if you're feeling really anxious apparently you put this in the bath and it's meant to heal that and it's got sage in there which is meant to clear the mind <laughs> So I can't remember if this was on the Valentine's Day page, I'm pretty sure it was to be very honest, but it had to be done. I got myself a unicorn horn, I remember getting one of these last year and it's so cool, everybody was doing the whole like Instagram picture <laughs> like this. This one is a bubble bar so you break it off and put it, crumble it under the tap and that would just create some beautiful bubbles for your bath. Ooh. 
Okay, I'm not a massive fan of the smell because it's it smells of lavender. I'm really not a fan of lavender. It's very pretty and shimmery. But yeah, if you love lavender, it's brilliant, but I'm not a fan of lavender. But anyway, I'm still going to enjoy using this and it's just so pretty. So this one is called Cupid. Ooh. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> not a massive fan of it, but I've seen like a demo of this and it looks beautiful. I will show you. So this one is a bath bomb. It smells kind of florally, but also quite herby as well. Okay, so it's got rose and bergamot in it. So this bath bomb is another one I was really excited about just because it looks so pretty. And so this one is called Love a Lamp. I love the name. Ooh. Okay, so this one smells sort of citrusy as well, but also kind of sweet at the same time. Okay, so this one has got vanilla and orange in it. Mmm, it does smell really, really nice. And apparently the little hearts on it are cocoa butter as well, which is obviously very nice for your skin. It smells really nice, this one. I like this one. Through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, can't make coast collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Okay, so this one is also a bath bomb. This is called Tisty Tosty, bit of an unusual name. Oh, it smells, this one smells really nice. This one smells really kind of relaxing to me. Mmm, that one smells lovely. Okay, so this is similar to like the he loves me, he loves me not sort of thing. And it says it's studded with seven real rosebuds. Oh, okay, so it's rose and lemon scented. Mmm. Rose oil also gets into work soothing those broken hearts. It's used by aromatherapists to lift the spirits. Oh, so this one is if you're feeling down. Um and you just want to lift your spirits up. So maybe for those people out there that are single this Valentine's Day, this one is really good for you. It's really strong smelling. But yeah, I'm excited about that one. So I have nice little rose petals in your bath, which I imagine will be so pretty. I've seen a few of these in a few little lush hauls. So this one is called Love Struck. So cute. Ooh. Well, I have to say, I'm not a fan of the smell myself. Okay, so this one is Lemon and Geranium, and this is meant to be the cute little love heart emoji, which is so cute. So it's a bubble bar, this one. So it is another one where you crumble it under the tap and create some beautiful bubbles. Oh. Okay, so this one is on the Valentine's Day website. It's a cute little ladybird and it says snug as a bug in the tub. Oh my god, this one smells amazing. This one smells a bit like peppermint and sort of blackcurrant. So this one is a bubble bar, so it is another one that you crumble under the tap to create some beautiful bubbles. You don't need to use it all at once, you can crumble bits off. I sometimes like to try and get maybe four baths out of it, so you just split it into four. So this one is geranium and peppermint oil, and it smells so, so nice. That's probably my favourite smelling one so far. It smells so good. So I've just got one more. It is a massage bar. I've used quite a few of these in the past. I mainly love the one which is like a strawberry, and then at Christmas time they bring out a snow fairy one, which is just incredible. Um, it is called Love Spell, and it is on the Valentine's Day page. Ooh, it smells really nice. It smells a bit like vanilla and strawberry. It smells really nice. These, I think, are perfect for Valentine's Day if you're a couple and you just want to treat each other and give each other a nice massage. And it's just really nice and it makes your skin feel so, so soft. I sometimes find these better than using like a body butter. You just like rub it on your skin and already I've got a really nice oil. It smells really nice. Oh, I got a bit of polystyrene stuck to it. That's what it looks like. So it's got some lemon in there, it's got some spicy carnation and some rose hips, it's very florally. And it's also got some aloe vera as well, which is really good for your skin. Okay, so that is my Lush haul video for you. I really hoped you enjoyed this video. 
please do give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and also if you'd like to see another one I'd love to do maybe a Halloween one later on or maybe even an Easter one I think it's nice to do different seasons and different celebrations and also subscribe as well if you haven't already because you know it helps me out and it also just lets you know when I am uploading a video this week I've uploaded two videos I always make sure I upload one video every week occasionally you have a treat and I upload two so yeah, I do really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!